Hi, I'm Wolfie. Welcome to the bad lighting that is the first attempt at a YouTube video. Today I'm doing a bookshelf tour because I thought that would be a good way to start off this channel. This is the only bookshelf I have. So first we'll do the top shelf. This is the top shelf. Let's start with the non-books things up here. This is Thomas. You'll probably see him a lot in videos. I gave him eyes with the tissue box. This is the TBR challenge jar. I'll have a link here to the video that inspired this. This is thing of bookmarks. I have a lot of bookmarks. These are books I'm currently reading. This is not where I usually keep them, but I put them here to do this video. This is Werewolf, the first one, Rise of the Wolf by Curtis Joe Bling. Hopefully that's his name. It's hard to get through and I've been in the middle of it for a long time. This is about where I am. It's not very far. I've not particularly enjoyed it so far, which is a shame because I really like werewolves. This is another book I'm currently reading, Coraline by Neil Gaiman. I was reading this for Halloween read, but I didn't finish it in time because October was crazy. And I didn't, and it's a short book, so I should have finished it. I'm still only halfway through, so I should have finished it by now, but I haven't yet. This is Red World by Brian Jacquees. This is Spare Bible. I don't have my actual Bible up here because it's downstairs because I neglected to bring it back up here after church. I don't usually leave this on my bookshelf. I put it on my nightstand, but it's here right now for the bookshelf tour because this is technically a book. Now I'm putting it back over here. This is Kosh and Wiz Kids sign that I bought for NaNoWriMo. Actually, I convinced my parents to buy for NaNoWriMo. This is not the best section of the bookshelf, but it is the top section. I'm going from top to bottom, so. This is my favorite Dr. Seuss book. This is Hans Christian Andersen Fairy Tales in very pretty bronze and noble cover. This is also a very pretty bronze and noble cover of Grimm's Fairy Tales, which I don't like because they're grim. This is not fiction. This is a from ordinary to extraordinary book about art and design and problem solving. This is a child craft book. If you've seen these books, I highly recommend. Our friend had a spare copy of it, so they gave it to us. And then we bought the whole volume, so now we have a spare copy of this. The rest of them are in the other room, so they won't be in this tour. This is a boy's annual thing my aunt gave me for a birthday or some holiday. This is the Action Bible, the comic graphic novel thingy of the Bible stories. Ocean Liners of the 21st Century, another antique book my aunt got me. Fantasy Encyclopedia, which I really like, by Judy Allen. I think this is out of print, but I, if you can get it, I'd highly recommend. I have Tintin books here. I've got Tintin books, because I like Tintin books. King Autocar's Scepter, The Secret of the Unicorn, The Black Island, which I think is my favorite, Destination Moon, and Explorers on the Moon. That's those. I just redid my bookshelves, and now I'm re-redoing my bookshelves. Putting back books. Nice. These are a bunch of copies of the book I wrote. Sea of Trees, Wolfie Smoke. Mm. This is the shelf where I keep most of my hardcover books because they look really nice in uniform size. The Invention of Hugo Cabret by Brian Snellsnick. This is Side Effects May Vary by Julie Murphy. This is signed Dumplin' also by Julie Murphy. Also signed Wonder by R.J. Palico. 
I've heard they're making a movie out of this one. I hope so. I like book to movie adaptations. Unless I've not read the book. Floors by Patrick Cameron. It has a one on it, so I figure it's a series. I've had this book forever and I still haven't read it. Furthermore, by Tahara Mafi. I highly recommend this book for Alice in Wonderland or A Wrinkle in Time fans. I highly recommend it to anyone else who isn't an Alice in Wonderland or Wrinkle in Time fan. House of Secrets by Chris Columbus and Ned Vizini. It's so shiny. It's not even glossy, it's more matte, but it's still shiny. I like how big this book is. I like it a little less now that I know that it's in a series. I like big standalone books. Icons by Margaret Stoll, hopefully. This is a standalone. I found this at the dollar store for like a dollar because it was at the dollar store. A nice hardcover, undamaged book. New York Times best-selling author book and I found it in the dollar store. This is Black Widow Forever Red, also by Margaret Stoll. I actually not a big fan of Marvel and I really don't enjoy the movies that much but I had to check this out because it was book form of it and I decided I would check it out. This is Passenger by Alexander Bracken, currently the biggest book I've ever read on my own. 480 something pages and that's the biggest I've read. Really proud of having read it. Really pretty cover. Not my favorite book though, I have to say. I probably will read the sequel when it comes out sometime in a couple months. Where Futures End by this person whose name I can't pronounce. It has an interesting cover. It was a impulse buy. It sounds really interesting. The spine is all weird. The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. I haven't read this yet, but I want to sometime this year or next year. It's got a really nice, bold, colored cover. I like it. It looks a little more matte in this lighting, but it's really bold and colorful, trust me. Soundless by Rochelle Mead. This seemed, in, this seemed interesting and was also kind of an impulse buy, even though I'd heard about it and was already interested when I saw it in the, what's it called, website, where you buy the books. Twilight, oh blurry. Twilight by Stephanie Meyer, which I bought to try out because there's a lot of mixed reviews about it. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't tell you whether or not I like it. Shiny cover, though. Thrones and Bones, book one, Frostborn. It's got a very, very shiny cover and lots of nice colors. Old colors that you can't tell in this matte making lighting by Lou Anders. This is signed and personalized. And you stamped this rune on it. I'll figure out what that rune means when I finally read the book. This is Serafina and the Black Cloak by Robert Betty. BT. I want to read it. And I haven't yet. This is Daring Adventures of Penhaligon Brush by S. Jones Rogan. This is actually from this shelf down here. But its sequel is in hardcover and I have it up here. Favorite book of all time. Read this if you haven't already. Ah, uh, this can't go in. This is Curse of the Romney Wolves, also by S. Jones Rogan. Not a wonderful sequel, kind of depressing and disappointing since it's my favorite book. The Princess Bride by William Goldman or S. Morgan Stern or whoever wrote this. It's got two names on it. I feel like it's Wildman Goldman telling it. I don't like this cover. I can't tell if I like this better with the book jacket or without. I just recently found the book jacket and I think it's kind of boring either way. I'm gonna leave the book jacket on it because that's the responsible reader thing to do. This is Calvin by Martin Levitt, also an impulse buy. I bought two copies, one for myself and one for my friend. I haven't given it to him yet because I'm realizing it's probably not the best thing in the world and also I don't think he'd necessarily enjoy it. I don't think I'd necessarily enjoy it. In fact, I should, it's such a short book, I should probably just read it and get rid of it if I don't like it. Since You've Been Gone 
by Morgan Matson. This has been on my to read list for a long time because it has like a bucket list in it. I've been avoiding looking at the back because it has the list on it. I want to be surprised. It's got a big picture inside the cover. Let me take it. Off. It's got a long picture inside of the flap. I bought this used, so it's got that little this little thing here. It's a little. I am picky about the condition of my books if you haven't noticed. This is The Thing About Luck by Cynthia Kaduata. That's the name. I'm afraid I'm going to mess up. It has a National Book Award winner. I've read this and I really like it. I did really like it. Savvy by Ingrid Law. This is second favorite book. This is amazing awesomeness book. This is really pretty cover really pretty story inside and signed recommend for anyone on earth this is scumble that is the companion to savvy also recommend I'm currently rereading it because this one came out and I realized it it's switch it's another companion novel and I want to read it and I wanted to reread the first two so no spoilers please this is the box, the Percy Jackson box set came in. You will get to that later. There was just this big hunk of ugly space and I don't know what to do with the boxes once I get box sets. Now to lower you. Next shelf where I keep my almost uniformed paperback books. This is Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. I do not have the other books. I haven't even fully read this book, which is shame, shame. I will read it. I will have them all read and owned by the end of next year. By the end of 2017, I should have them all read and owned. 100 Cupboards by Andy Wilson. Love this book. Dandelion Fire by Andy Wilson. Sequel to 100 Cupboards. Haven't read it yet. Shameful. Not as shameful as the Harry Potter thing, but still pretty shameful. These paperbacks. Oh my goodness. Ah, this is The Swap by Megan Skull. Shoal. Skull. Shoal. Soul. The Swap by Megan Soul. Shmoo. That. I haven't read yet. Re this is the most recent purchase on my shelf. I haven't read it yet. Love the movie adaption though. So hopefully we'll love the this book. This is Daring Adventures of an Elegant Brush. I already showed this to you, but it's my favorite book, so I'm going to show it to you again. Then I have the Time Quintet. Books are falling everywhere. I have A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lingle, or whatever her name is. Love this book. Probably third favorite book. A Wind in the Door by Same Person. Book two read this one didn't like as much as the first but still really liked a swiftly tilting planet if you want a sad book here you go many waters haven't read this yet and an acceptable time by same author haven't read this one i have freaky friday by mary rogers do not like the cover love movie adaption probably actually like the movie adaption more than book but the book is still really good the Trumpet of the Swan by E.B. White. Liked this book. I liked it more when I thought about it. I didn't like it at the time because it seemed too romancy, but now that I think about it, I really liked it. Out of My Mind by Sharon and Draper. Here's another sad book for you if you want one, but still really good. Kind of depressing, but still really good. Harriet the Spy by Louise Fitus. City of Ember, the first book of Ember, by Jenny DeBru. I think that's how you say her name. Shiny cover. I don't like that they remade these covers. The new covers are awful. I like these covers. I do not like the new covers. The new covers are awful. Publishing people, why do you always do such horrible covers? This is People of Sparks, second book of Ember. Still pretty cover. I don't have the rest. I'm currently reading this I go the bookmark. Actually, this is probably to the point of being a DNF and I should probably take the bookmark out, but I do want to finish it. Then I have Ronald Dahl books here. I have the BFG. I liked this one. It was okay. I have the Witches 
The Swiss one is also okay. I have Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, probably my favorite. I will get more Ronald Dahl books soon, I'm sure. Now, I don't... I'm just gonna leave these out. Now I have the Percy Jackson books. I have Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. The Sea of Monsters by the same person, which I'm currently reading, so it's not on the shelf. The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan. Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan. Book five and final before the spin-offs, The Last Olympian. And then I have another copy of The Lightning Thief because I got a copy of it on its own and then I wanted the box set that came with a cool poster. This is Tuck Everlasting. I've had this forever and I still haven't read it. This is Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wayne Jones. This is a DNF book, not because it was bad, but because I just sat it down and I never picked it up because it was kind of a big book for me at that time. This is Fable Haven and I should probably like reread it or continued series or something because it was actually really pretty good. This is Sway by Amber McRee Turner. This is also signed by Amber McRee Turner because it would be weird if it was a different person signing it. Liked this book a lot. Recommend if you want a good contemporary-ish thingy. If you want a good contemporary-ish adventure-ish kind of thing mixture, try this. I'm moving you over. Can't see all the books. Tale of Despero by Kate Di Camillo. You'd think if I could pronounce Despero, I could pronounce this. Then I have the Magic Repair Shop series, which I highly recommend. The Multiplying Menace, probably my favorite. The Shapeshifter's Curse, not my favorite. Master of Mirrors, closer to my favorite, but not my favorite. Unlike usual series, this one gets smaller as it goes along. This is the first three Artemis Fowl books that came in a box set that my sister got me because she was moving out and she didn't want them anymore. I haven't read them yet. This is Wings of Fire, the first book. This is a DNF book because I wasn't into the kind of thing at the time. I'd probably like it more now. And I've heard some of my friends talk about it, so I should probably read it. This is When You Reach Me. This is from the country hotel. I kind of stole it. Not really. They do a thing where you can borrow books from them and then return it later without a due date to bring them back. I need to read it because it's not mine. And the first thing you need to do when borrowing books is to read them and return them. This is Phantom Tollbooth. Good book for an awesome Wonderland hangover. This is Spy School. I have a bookmark in it. It may end up being a DNF book. The 101 Talmatians by Jody Smith. I've not been doing the author. Spy School is by Stuart Gibbs. The Phantom Tollbooth is by Norman Jester. When You Reach Me is by Rebecca Steed. I'm not gonna go back farther. Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson. Then I have Seriously Norman by Chris Rakachakacha. Whatever his name is. Well, I hope you're happy I've messed up this shelf for you. Let's do the entertaining thing and watch me try to fix it. That wasn't as entertaining as we all thought it was gonna be. Down to second to last shelf. We. We. Why is only this leg going down? So this is a chaotic, small, under a hundred pages, paperbacks kind of-ish, first reader kind of thingies, books. I'm not gonna pull them all out because obviously they're stacked up really nicely. These are definitely not a first reader, it's the Bronze and Noble edition of A Christmas Carol. I put it here because this, it has a little thingy holding up the shelf above it, and I didn't want these books to get messed up by it. Then I have a matching copy of Irish Fairy and Folk Tales. I'm Irish, so I had to get this when I saw it in Bronze Noble. This is the Magic Treehouse series right here. Books two through 41. Books two through 41. I have two copies of book 10. I'm missing book one. I'm missing book 21. I'm missing the ones, apparently. These are hardbacks of the Magic Trio series. I'll pull these out for you. Stallion by Starlight, which is book 49. I have Leprechaun Late Winter, which is book 43. I have Haunted Castle on Hollow's Eve, which is book 30. I have Good Night for Ghost, which is book 42. 
I have Eve of the Emperor Penguin, which is book 40, and Dark Day in the Deep Sea, which is book 39. These right here are books 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48 of Magic Treehouse right here. These are Geronimo Stilton books and then a Thea Stilton book. I bought them out of order. I bought the first two and then I had and then I bought the rest of these at a little garage sale thing. I have book 18, 29, and 32. And then I don't have any of the ones that go between. This is the I Survived series. Highly recommend. This is the Jack Sparrow series, the first four books. I haven't read them yet. This is these new cover editions of Ghost Goosebumps collection. And then this whole thing is Goosebumps. I have them out of order. This is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. This is a box set of the Choose Your Own Adventures. I have The Lost Jewels of Nabuti, Space and Beyond, Journey Under the Sea, and The Abominable Snowman. I don't like these very much because a lot of the endings are sad and end with me dying. I can't get them back into their box set. These are Peanuts comics. This is the first edition. This is the first volume, 1950 to 52. Peanuts. I like Peanuts. We are now at the bottom shelf. Rook by Sharon Cameron. This is The Dark Unwinding, also by Sharon Cameron. Signed. I DNF'd this book. I did not finish it. I wish I had though, because it was pretty good, and it's signed. This is Spirit Fighter by Gerald Law. If you're in a Percy Jackson hangover and you're not sacrilegious, I'd recommend this. It's basically the same thing, but with angels instead of Greek gods. This is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And then I'm currently reading Hollow City by Ransom Riggs, which is book two. I'm a little surprised by this one because I hardly see any language in this one and this one was just full of language. I like the book, I like the movie. This is The Imaginary by AF Harold. I bought this on instinct. These are journals. This is full first journal that I've written in. It has a lock. This is second journal, full journal that I've written in. It has a thingy. It also has a lock. This is another journal that I have written in. It also has a lock, and a bunch of locks as you can see. This is another full journal, which is locked in a box. That looks like it. This is journal that is given, that also has a lock, that I haven't opened yet, because I'm currently using a different journal. This is Winnie the Pooh Treasury. I'm not gonna get them out. An Expedition to the North Pole. Winnie the Pooh and some bees. Piglet meets a heffalum. Ganga and Baby Roo come to the forest. A house is built at Pooh Corner for Eeyore. Tigger comes to the forest and has breakfast. Pooh invents a new game. Tiggers don't climb trees. Piglet is entirely surrounded by water. Pooh goes visiting and Pooh and Piglet nearly catch a woozle. Eeyore has birthday. Christopher Robin gives Pooh a party. I'm not sure if I have them in the, the correct chronological order, but I have them in the way I have them. These are some Puffin classics. I like Puffin classics because they tell you about the classic in the back. This is Robin Hood. Haven't read it yet and had it forever and haven't read it yet. This is Alice Adventures in Wonderland. This is The Secret Garden. This is Anna Green Gables. This is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, which I don't think I will enjoy too much, but if I have, like, a book slump, it seems like something easy to read. This is The Last Scene, Sin Eater by Francine Rivers, and Left Behind by Tim Hale and Harry B. Jenkins. These are, ba these are technically my mom's books. I have them up here because I wanted to read them. This is The Selection by Kira Cast, the first book. I haven't read it yet. This is The Alchemist, The, Im the Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Famel by Michael Scott. Haven't read this yet. I feel like every booktuber has this on their shelf, but they never really talk about it. So I should read this and talk about it. This is Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None. I'm pretty sure there was a classic Scooby-Doo episode based off this. This is The Time Fetch by Amy Herrick. Highly recommend. 
nice bold colors even though it looks kind of matte on the camera because of the stupid lighting. Dragonborn by Toby Forward. The Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell. Haven't read this yet, and I've had it only forever. This is another copy of my book. This is the Magic Treehouse Fact Checkers. They tell you facts that go along with the Magic Treehouse books. New readers and teachers and homeschool moms and parents. I'd highly recommend Magic Treehouse. This is the first two books in the All the Wrong Question series by Lemony Snicket. I have Who Could That Be at This Hour and When Did You See Her Last. I really like the covers. These are a bunch of first reader books. I guess I'll go through them real quick. Hamster Magic, Absolutely Lucy, Lucy on the Loose, Look at Lucy, Lucy on the Ball, The Boy Who Ate Dog Biscuits, Aliens for Breakfast, Aliens for Lunch, Aliens for Dinner, Water Wishes, Earth Magic, Wind Spell, The Golden Ghost, Ghost Horse, The Secret of the Painted House, The Blue Ghost. I loved these Stepping Stone books when I was, like, first reading books. This is a fact checker that ended up falling in the back, apparently. Back here I have books that I don't necessarily care about too much. They're mainly non-fiction books. I have Better Than a Lemonade Stand, Small Business Ideas for Kids. I do recommend this because it does have a lot of cool ideas in it. This is God's Crime Scene by J. Warner Wallace. How to Turn a Hundred Dollars into a Million Dollars. It's basically a book about investing for kids. I have two Milda Badilda books. I have picture books here. I have The Three Trees, Bible Numbers 1 to 10, You Are Special. I have some antique books. I have The Mystery of the Pilgrim Trading Post, The Ghost of Windy Hill, and a Encyclopedia Brown collection. This is Judy Moody was in the mood. This is The Nine Tailors by Dorothy L. Sayers. I was supposed to read this for school. Small words and not a lot of it is interesting. I'm sure it got better, but it's a DNF book. This is 2084 novel by Jeremy W. Poland. I don't like that he put the PhD here, because that doesn't necessarily make me think this is going to be an interesting book. This is The Ghost in Tint 19 by Jim and Jane O'Connor. This is a movie cover of Mr. Popper's Penguins, and it might have made it up on the higher shelves. But, movie cover. I hate movie covers. This is How to Train Your Dragon by Cassandra Cowell. This is the Myth Encyclopedia books that I got when I was really into Greek myths, Oh My Gods, and She's All That. This is The Tale of Annabelle Hedgehog, which I read for school a decade ago. This is Tales from the Odyssey by Mary Pope Osborne, author of the Mad Tree Health series. I like the Magic Treehouse series, but I don't like this. This is book one, The One-Eyed Giant. Book two, The Land of the Dead. Bind up of the first three books. This is another antique book, Tarzan and the Golden Lion. It's got a really nice cover with no title on it. And it's got title here, Tarzan and the Golden Lion. These are two Reader's Digest books. Reader's Digest, volume three and four. These include Ms. Aris. Goes to Moscow, The Money Changers, The Masquerade at Fall Creek, Collision, My Enemy the Queen, The Good Old Boys, By the Rivers of Babylon, Breakpoint. I don't know why I got these. This is Write This Book by Synonymous Bosch. This is the Redred Kipling, a selection of his stories and poems. This is another antique book. This is Mountain Ghost Stories and Curious Tales of Western North Carolina by Randy Russell and Jandy Barnett. There's a moon, there's an owl, there's an owl, there's a moon. There's a very skinny book for you. This is Stories of Great Americans, Edward Egglesome. This is Nurse Matilda, The Collected Tales, the three books. It includes Nurse Matilda, Nurse Matilda Goes to Town, and Nurse Matilda Goes to Hospital. This is Two by Fours by Charles M. Schultz. I, someone gave me to this as a gift, and it looks like a Peanuts thingy, but I'm pretty sure this is a parenting book. This is Short and Scary Thrillers, edited by Rebecca K. Rizzo. I thought it had like a list of things, but I must be thinking of something else. I don't like this price tag. Well, this kind of works. 
This is the werewolf's guide to life, not necessarily an actual nonfiction by Rich Duncan and Bob Powers. It has some interesting stuff in it. This is Why Don't Cats Like to Swim? It's a bunch of questions such as why don't cats like to swim heaven is for real non-fiction book about boy who goes to heaven and then comes back to life highly recommend it the werewolf handbook an essential guide to werewolves and more importantly how to avoid them claw Biography of C.S. Lewis, Angels, Book About Angels by Billy Graham, Biography of St. Patrick by William J. Fed. I bought this for St. Patrick's Day. Here's another antique book, The Widow of Galahan's Boys, which my sister got for me. These are two other books that I got on a road trip when we were visiting a bunch of parks. This is Cliffhanger, a mystery in Mesa Verde National Park, and this is Ghost Horses, a mystery in Zion National Park like Gloria Skavinsky or whatever that is and Alani Van here are the author names for you this is Nim's Island movie cover which is why it's down here this is caricature of Wolfgang Artemis Mozart this is mind over matter how to develop ESP abilities and principles of mentalism this is the war of art which they gave me free at a writing conference not for fiction writers but writers that my dad took me to. This is F in exams, the very best totally wrong test answers by Richard Benson. Explain the word monumentum. A brief moment. This is The Old Farmer's Alchemac for Kids, Volume 4. This is a book about Irish witchcraft and demonology by St. John D. Seymour. Saint. Witchcraft. Demonology. Saint. I have one more book stuck back here. Wizardology Handbook, a course for apprentices. I like this. So that's my bookshelf. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the bad lighting. I hope you enjoy other videos on this channel. If you like my taste in books, you can leave a like. And if you like my not yet developed skills at videoing, then you can subscribe somewhere down there. It should be right there somewhere. Or it's here. It's here and there. Here, here and there. I don't know which, but it's somewhere. There's some interesting links down below in the description. You can look at those. Bye. Bye. Harriet the Spy by Louise, Louise, Louise. Harriet the Spy by Louise, Louise. Harriet the Spy is by Louise. This Multiplying menace, probably my do. There's a lot of common. Then I have the back of this book.